Hello everyone, and welcome to this DomLabs tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a grappling a, a grappling gun inside of Unity. So right here, I have a sample scene with nothing inside of it. I'm going to right click inside the hierarchy, create a 2D object, a sprite, and then a square. This is going to be our player, so we can name it player. I'm going to add a rigid body 2D to our player. I'm going to add a box collider 2D to our player. I'm going to add a line renderer to our player, and then I'm also going to add a distance joint 2D. Now, the rigid body and box collider are just for moving. The line renderer is to show the grappling, so what we can do is change the color to black. So just select these two and change it to black so that our grappling hook is black. Change the alignment to transform Z. Change the material to the default line material and then just change the width to something like 0.2. So now we have a 0.2. And this distance joint is the grappling hook part. This connected anchor is where our grappling hook will be. You can see if we move it around, this connected anchor moves around. And you can just quickly see that if I just click play, what will happen is that this player will start, we look back in the scene view, this player is just moving around just like a grappling hook. So let's get out of play mode. Let's add a component, a new script, and then we're going to add grapple. Let's open up this script so we can right click and edit script. I'm going to open this up in Microsoft Visual Studio, but you can open it up in whatever coding editor that you want. Up here, we're going to have to create a few variables. First, it's going to be rigidbody2d. We can just name it rb, a line renderer, and then we're just going to name it lr, and then our distance joint2d, and we just name it dj. Inside of start, we are just going to set all of these. So RB is equal to get component rigid body 2D. LR is equal to get component line renderer. And then our DJ is equal to get component distance joint 2D. This is just getting all the components so we can use them. Inside of update, we're going to have to check if we hit our what we want to grapple on. So if input dot get mouse button down zero, which is the right mouse button. But if you want to do the left mouse button, you can do that too. That would be one for the left mouse button. Then we're going to get a vec vector three point is equal to input or this is actually equal to camera dot main dot screen to world point input dot mouse position this just takes wherever our mouse is and converts it to world point so we can use that where to put the anchor so if we have this down now we're going to check if this is on our grappling layer so we're going to check if physics 2d if physics 2d dot overlap circle and the point is the point is point the radius we can just set as 0.1 f and then the layer mask we're gonna have to set up here so we'll do a public layer mask and we're gonna call this grapple layer this is just so that you can grapple only on certain things and if you don't want to grab don't want to be able to grapple on something you can just not put it on the grapple layer so if we're doing distance joint dot enabled is true then we're going to set our distance joint dot anchor is equal to our point now this works as intended we're going to actually up and start let's do our distance joint dot enabled is false just before we forget but now we're not going to see anything because we're not doing our line renderer. So what we can do is our line renderer dot enabled is true. We can also set that up here. Line render dot enabled is false up here. And then we're going to do our line renderer dot set position zero and then our transform dot position. Then we're going to do line renderer dot set position 
one and it's going to be point. Now, this just allows us to set the positions of the line renderer that so when we're doing that, it updates the positions. And now we're going to have another if statement. So if input dot dot get mouse button up and whatever mouse button you did, I did zero. So if you did one, you'll put one here. And then we're just going to set lr dot enabled is false. And then dj dot enabled is false too. Now, once this is done, we can actually just go back inside of Unity and then we're going to have to set the grapple layer. I'm just going to set this to my a ground layer I have right in here. And I'm just going to create a 2D object, a sprite a square, add a box collider to it. I'm going to take this square, move it right here and go like this. So now I can grapple on it and set it to the ground layer. Now, when I click play and I'm inside of play mode, you can see that this works, but it is not updating. So what we're going to have to do, what we're going to have to do is set another, we're going to create a public bool and we're going to name this is grappling. When this is true, we're going to set is grappling to be true. And then if we're down here, so if is grappling, so down here, what we're going to do is we're just going to do all of this. We're just going to update our little points. So now our points update and it's giving us an error because the points don't exist and that's okay. We can just put, we can just copy whatever our point code and put it in there. So now this is just going to update the point whenever we're grappling. If we open up, then we're going to set is grappling to be false. Actually, instead of putting this here, we're going to create a variable up the top where it's going to be a vector3 and I'm going to name it point. To do that, I'm just going to delete the vector3 from there and just set point directly. And then instead of here, I'm just going to put point. And now, if we go back inside of Unity, we are going to have to change a few things. I'm going to click auto configure distance to be off and set the distance to be something like 2. Then on the box color or the rigid body 2D, I'm going to freeze rotation on the Z axis so we don't spin around. After we've frozen the rotation, we are going to quickly have to go back into here and we're going to have to change this anchor to be connected anchor. And then once we've done that, then we can go back inside our Unity and then click play. 
And then once we're inside of play mode, we can just click and we can see that we're swinging around and that we have this pendulum swing mode to swing and that it looks like a grappling hook. And with that, this tutorial is finished. If you like this tutorial, please give our channel a like and a subscribe because it really helps out a ton. Thank you.